गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप एवरीबडी इज फाइन एट होम सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अगैन सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस एंड सिंपल पास टेंस एज सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर हैविंग क्वेरीज इन दिस सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस अगैन सो लिसन केयरफुली एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस टेंस विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस पी पी टी सो आई होप यू ऑल विल लिसन एंड सी केयरफुली एंड डू योर असाइनमेंट एज वेल थैंक यू सो हेयर इज इट सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस इफ वी टॉक अबाउट सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस दैट इज we use simple present tense that expresses an action in the present if we talk about present then we use this tense taking place once never or several times it is also used for actions that take place one after another and for actions that are set by a time table or schedule the simple present tense also expresses facts in the present like if we talk about this the actions which we are doing daily like uh, i have uh, like habitual if i am habitual of doing something then i have Maybe. to use this tense like i brush my teeth daily so there i have to use this tense because i am doing it daily and it also expresses facts in the present like the sun rises in the east so there also we use this tense here is the example you can see p means positive sentence like he speaks he is a verb he is a he is a subject and he is the verb that is speak but we have added s in the verb so the rule is subject plus first form of the verb plus s s is there we have added s just because the subject was singular there is he that's why we have added s so this is positive sentence of uh, and then the negative sentence in negative sentence we use the helping verb that is do or does the helping verbs in simple present tense are do and does but here we use does why so just because you can see in positive in positive sentence there is s in the verb so while writing negative you will use does does not speak he does not speak and while making interrogative sentence question sentence you will write first of all the helping verb that is does and then subject and then verb mostly students are doing this mistake that they write does he I speaks does he speaks will be the wrong sentence so you have to use speak only no s or es while writing negative while making negative and interrogative sentences always keep it in mind so i hope you'll be able to understand this Here's the other example. Simple present is used for actions and situations in the present, which is going. So, uh, facts and situations in the present expresses a fact or given situation. Example: Our secretary works very hard. See here, the subject is singular, so we can we have to write down verb as a plural. <laughs> so, uh, but if the subject will be plural so the verb will be singular life uh, okay this is the example so here with i we use do not and okay so here is the okay this is what our ppt is i think you have understood the you the use of simple present tense so students here is another slide for simple past tense i would like to explain it again that in simple past tense we use the rule is subject plus second form of the verb plus object here you can see the past simple tense is used to describe an action that happened in the past but is now finished that has been finished it's not going on so here you can see first example the baby fell asleep early last night 
here you can see fell fell is the second form of the verb after subject subject is the baby fell is the second form of verb and asleep early last night this is the sentence of simple past tense mm. here's another example that is he walked to work yesterday we are talking about yesterday okay which has been done so he walked here also we have used second form of the verb with subject the, in the next example she went went is the second form of go go went gone so we have used again second form of the verb she went to rio last january and the last my father lived on a farm as a child so here you can see these are the simple sentences of simple past tense but when you have to use when you have to make negative or interrogative sentence then you have to use did did is the helping verb in simple present simple past tense so the sentence will be he did not walk not walked it will be walk to work yesterday and the interrogative sentence will be did he walk to work yesterday so i hope you are able to understand that this is the simple past tense and these are the positive sentences so i hope now you can do your homework that you have to make you have to make five sentences on each simple present tense and simple past tense and change them into negative and interrogative sentences thank you and have a nice day